Animal poaching is an increasing world crisis that poses the greatest threat to several endangered species like rhinos, tigers, and elephants. Countries around the world have become more and more vocal about the issue and have enlisted different strategies. Here in the US, the US Fish and Wildlife Service destroyed, listen to this, a one-ton trove of ivory in the middle of Times Square a few days ago just to bring attention to the illegal poaching of elephants for profit. Well, listen to this, India has now a new class of soldiers to tackle animal poachers in that country. Wildlife sniffer dogs. Just the same way we train dogs in the airports to yeah. capture contraband, contraband, weapons, chemicals. We in India, well, they in India are mm -hmm. training these dogs to find more organic smells that is really hard. Ivory, tusk, tiger paws, and even wounded animals mm -hmm. to try to catch them when the poachers are still on action. Absolutely, and I personally commend these efforts because I find the art of poaching and, 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 and taking advantage and abusing these animals for profit is really despicable. So I liked the fact that we are acknowledging that we are all relying on each other and the fact that these animals play an important role in our ecosystems in all of our lives. And so it's important that we draw more attention to these efforts and hopefully to deter more individuals from illegally poaching animals. And I think it's, it's exactly the, the most effective resource is education. Like mm -hmm. you said, is we need to educate the world. That's why the, the ivory crush, a lot of them say this is the, the thing to do to show the world that we want tolerate this trade, but at the same time, the critics are saying, well, you just took seven tons total because before they, they yeah. crushed six. Now you took seven uh, tons of ivory from the market. You know that the price is gonna go higher. It's gonna be more profitable for the poachers to go back and get m more yeah. more materials. So that, it's, it's debatable, but at the same time, you cannot do nothing about it. You yeah. have to do something. I think making the statement is very, very important. Going back to the dogs, now we have 28 dogs in this squad because they were very successful the first time around in 2008 when they founded this project with the help of World Wildlife Fund and Traffic, two NGOs. The first 13 dogs in the first class, they managed to crack down 100 cases of animal poaching wow. in just a few years. Now they doubled the force. They're hoping to curve down the scary numbers. This year alone in India, 39 tigers were killed Wow. That's on top of the many rhinos and the many elephants that perish every year to this trade. And it brings a question that, yes, we are persecuting the act of poaching, but why don't we go to the extent of persecuting ownership? Mm. Why are we not persecuting those who own ivory, those who own tiger paws, the, mm. those who drink wine? Mm. Might be a cultural element to it, depending on the country, but at the same time, if you kill the demand, mm -hmm. then they won't sell it anymore. So you need to work on that, on who owns this, who is buying this, this, this tusk, who is buying this tiger wine, because if we disappear that, then we don't have to kill any more animals. Let us know how you feel, and please subscribe to the Lib TV too.